Well, shoppers returned to familiar holiday shopping patterns, but were weighed down by inflation this Black Friday after two seasons marked by pandemic worries and supply issues. Now, due to elevated prices for food, rent, gasoline and other household costs, and many were reluctant to spend unless there was a big sale. The shoppers were being more selective, selecting cheaper options, dipping more into savings and turning to buy now, pay later services that allow payment in installments. Some were also running up their credit cards at a time when the Federal Reserve is hiking rates to cool the U.S. economy. In Minnesota, shoppers lined up outside a mall before sunrise and flooded the entrance as soon as the doors opened. Um, meanwhile, in Louisiana, shoppers also flocked to malls on Black Friday for gift buying ahead of the holiday season. At a shopping mall in, uh, in Metairie, Louisiana, shoppers received complimentary champagne as a jazz band played. Many said they hoped to score deals on gifts and other items amid rising prices because of high inflation. Meanwhile, shoppers have also flocked to New York to shop at Macy's in celebration of Black Friday. Many were seen walking through the store in Herald Square early on Friday morning. The analysts considered the five-day Black Friday weekend, which includes Cyber Monday, a key barometer of shoppers' willingness to spend, particularly this year. The two-month period between Thanksgiving and Christmas represents about 20% of the retail industry's annual sales. And meanwhile, in the state of Texas, the Best Buy Galleria in Houston opened its doors at 5 a.m. Central Standard Time and a long line of bargain hunters made their way in. Now, the outlook for retailers is uncertain this year, though, as inflation is weighing on consumers. Elevated prices for food, rent, gasoline and other household costs have indeed taken a toll on shoppers. As a result, many are reluctant to spend unless there is a big sale and are being even more selective with what they will buy, in many cases trading down to cheaper stuff and less expensive stores. Well, not just in the U.S., but over in Bolivia, merchants at La Paz's main market on Friday marked the start of the holiday shopping season by advertising lower prices for Black Friday. Now, merchant Virginia Tintaya said they had seen some stalls at the Uyustus market offering discounts of up to 70% of the original price. Still, the market appeared half empty since Black Friday is not a popular shopping date in Bolivia. The discount initiative is supported by La Paz Municipality, along with the consumer rights authorities to avoid sham discounts and also help boost the local economy. Sí, estamos uh, descuento 30%, 50%. Estamos haciendo baratito los clientes que nos visiten pues para esta Navidad, porque vamos a atender de desde las 8 de la mañana hasta noche nos vamos a quedar ahora. No bueno, estamos adoptando estas costumbres que vienen, ¿no? de Estados Unidos, pero estamos haciendo el viernes negro y estamos rematando los productos con el 10%, 20%, 30%, incluso hasta el 70% en algunos puestos. No, porque así aprovechamos de realizar compras para Navidad. Es cuando más suben las cosas, ¿no es cierto? Y ahora se pueden encontrar.